Hello, everyone, and welcome back to So Sick Airways, the only way to fly. This is your boy, Captain Rob, and as always, we're in the Fox 2. Ow! we got a very sexy little bit of livery here. Ooh, yeah, look at this. It's cool. I like how it's grey and shiny. We're in Swansea, you guys. We're in southwest Wales, and I still haven't figured out how to control this drone. But that doesn't matter. Because all that matters is how we fly it. Do bird about here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get into it. So, hi, yeah. Welcome, you guys. Welcome back to Sosic Airways. Back to the channel. Back to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, it's been a little while, hasn't it? Um, well, to be honest with you, I have been suffering with horrendous hay fever and my office, um, which is obviously where my flight simulator exists, has been so hot, it's been ridiculous. Now, when I say hot, I mean crazy. We were having, what was it? It was like 28 degrees Celsius in England, in, uh, in Oxfordshire, and where I'm based, I'm literally in the middle of the countryside, and it is like heat city. We don't have aircon in the UK because the UK seems to be in denial that there's such a thing called climate change. So we don't have aircon in any of the buildings um, unless you're in a, like a nice big building in central London or somewhere. Uh, nope, in offices outside of London, you don't have aircon. And if you do, you're very lucky. But if you don't, then you're just like everybody else. And that really, really sucks. But anyway, here we are in Fox 2. We're in Swansea. Right now, Swansea International Airport, we're going to take off and we're going to head for a really sick flight plan all along the southwest coast, up towards the west coast, teetering just past Abercoveny, and then we're going to land um, somewhere around there, I guess. Um, I have done a flight plan, but we're going to, we're going to follow it a little bit loosely. <laughs> That's right. So let's get everything on and let's get rocking and rolling, shall we? Let's put a strobe on and our beacon, but then we're going to... Do some stuff. Let's get our fuel pumps on. Da -bam. Let's just uh, continue on that guy there. Has it loaded the flight plan from the thingy? Doesn't look like it. It's a bit annoying whenever I do that. For some reason, it doesn't load up in here. I don't know why that is. So a quick look at the engine, shall we? Just while we're here, we should probably have a little look, just to make sure everything's tickety boo. Oh yeah, Rotex. Mm mm mm. Yeah. Okay. Close that. Kaplonk. Is he still thinking about his life? So while that's thinking about his life, let's get our magnetos on. And uh, go to start power. 10% throttle, brakes up on, yep, clear prop, there we go, oh, it has saved our thing, that's good, oh, cool, be able to show you a bit more detail then, so we'll just zoom out, so yep, we're in Swansea in southwest Wales, and we are going to fly all the way up here, all the way down there, down there. Now I have downloaded from Flight TO um, the sandbanks, so you should get some really cool looking features along the, the cliffs of uh, Wales. And also we have, um, I've downloaded the Swansea um, downloadable content as well. So we'll have a look at the fly over the city while we're here. Um, sound good? Let's just get our oil pressure and everything sorted out here. Just give ourselves a bit of acceleration to get us into the greens where we need to be. Turn that off. Fuel pumps off or on? I can't remember if we keep them on or off. I think we turn them off. Still in the yellow. Supply some brake. Back this up. There we go. There's the oil PSI. Yep, there you go. Oil pressure's out. Okay, there we go. So we've got two knots of wind coming from the southwest, funnily enough. 
Um, and we've currently got a heading set to 270. Let's just adjust that. I'm not too sure which runway we're going to take off from. Um, let me just have a quick goosey gander, actually. Let's go back, let's go back into here. Let's just zoom straight in. Let's see what options we have. So we've got one, one directly behind us here. So let's just go down that taxiway here, take off there. Actually, that's not a runway. That's a out of service runway. Oh, here we go. These are the runways that are in service here. So we can just go forwards and then to there. Probably take off from there. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, sweet. Let's get our brakes off. Let's get rocking and rolling, shall we? Now, if, you, if you're in a tail dragger like Fox 2, if you pull the stick back, that actually locks your back wheel. So when you turn, you've got a bit more resistance against your turning, which is pretty cool. Go a bit too quick there. So slow that down. Okay, here's the turn here. I can just see it there. At the edge there, a bit of grass. That's not a good angle. <laughs> Whoops. Right. Let's just slow ourselves down here. We'll get ourselves round the back. To be fair, we don't, we don't need much runway, man. Who are we kidding? We need none, pretty much. Don't need any runway. Because we're too cute. Okay, here should do the trick. Let's just pause that there. Um, it's quite a calm day, so let's go. Uh, we're flying into the wind here, which is good. Um, so now we're now facing a southwesterly direction, I believe. Yeah, there or thereabouts. Uh, where's the heading bug? We're adjusting anything on the analog dials? No. Okay. That's fine. Right, cool. Uh, let's get Krakaroon in. So, full for all. Stage one of thrap, of, of thraps, flaps, and off the brakes, off we go. So we'll drift over to the right, as you always do. Just hold that there, hold that there, stick down, stick forwards. Oh, oh. Whoop, whoo. That was me being a goon, I think. Classic goon like behaviour there from Rob Bradley. Yeah, Wales is quite nice, you guys. It's quite a nice place. Okay. So. We are not following ourselves on here, so we need to go boop. Yep, we're now miles away because we zoomed. There we go. Let me just. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Back that in my screen here. Get those flaps up. Quarter cool, speeds rocking and rolling, that's nice. Now we're flying entirely the wrong direction. Who should I blame? They get way too quick. Let's go back to <coughs> flight idle here. Here we go. We're flying way to. Let's just speed up because we're way off course here. Look. So if we get us our, our RPM, which is on the right hand side there. We bring that down to 40,000 RPMs. See the red needle? Just here. 
40,000 is about cruise, about cruise RPM, or what you want your engine to be sort of cruising at. Go to about there, and then trim off the aircraft. Like so. A bit more, bit more nose trim there. There we go. See now this this should be the way that you maintain straight and level flight. You trim off at 40,000 RPM and then when you No, nope, that's not trimmed, is it? Come on you guys. It's about there. So now if we accelerate, we should go up. We should increase our altitude like that. There we go. Increase altitude. And then if we go down, we should decrease altitude. That's a bit too much there. Get back to about 40,000 and we should then be level. I'm having to trim a little bit here, but that's okay. That's okay. We're all good. So yeah, these are the sandbanks, I guess. I mean, look at that. That's cool, isn't it? Bit of an estuary coming on, going on here. My dad's old pub actually was on the Mumbles Mile, which I believe is over here. From what I remember of Swansea. I might be wrong. It's a nice place. It's cute. Probably remember it's a great night out. Fantastic night out. Not as good as Liverpool. Liverpool is just insane. I mean, my good God, that that place is like, oh. There's people stood on the bars dancing, there's people stood on the tables dancing. There's people just dancing in the middle of the street. It's crazy. It's like, it's like, a, unlike, it's, it basically reminds me so much of like my hometown back when I was a kid and I used to sort of creep out. Me and my brother used to pretend when we were camping and, well, we'd get a tent and we'd go to our mate's back garden and camp in our mate's back garden and then we'd get dressed up and go out on like 10 pound and still somehow managed to come back with change after having like several drinks on a night out. Bonkers. Like 10 pounds could get you like seven drinks. I'm 43, so that's probably why. <laughs> because we're talking about the late 90s here. That also looks cool. A nice little golf course down there, look. I'm flying off again, aren't I? I'm sure we going over this way. <laughs> <clears throat> oh well. So sort of, you know, have a little explore around, see what's going on. So in the UK, these aircraft, uh, the Fox aircraft, the Kit Fox aircraft, they're classed as microlights, and although you can fly over cities and towns, it's advised that you don't, because if you have engine failure, you've literally got nowhere to land. And they want to come down, these microlights. You know, they can only hover for so long. So you're always best off sticking to uh, coastlines, where obviously you've got lots of nice sandy beaches you can land on, or great big fields like that one down there, look. Sticking to fields so you can just literally ditch if you need to. The bridge just ends there, look. It's the lone pier. So look, what we got down here? What we got? 
Okay, yeah, we got some interesting bit. Let's try and land. Here we go. So we missed this because we're going too quick. Coming down to about 60 in a minute. That'll be good enough. There's a train line here. Looks like it could be a train line. This has gone a bit fuzzy. We don't care about no trees. Okay, well, I mean, we've landed. Okay, let's speed up. Let's get ourselves back in the air. The hill there. Woo! <laughs> Fish out of Sweet. Don't do this at home, girls. Or in real life, because you'd be pretty stupid if you were to do something like that in real life. And you'd be massively breaking the law. So, yeah, don't do that anytime soon, please. Okay, so we've got like a couple of little hills here. Let's just uh, let's go have some fun, shall we? Some more Swansea over there, look. I'm guessing those pauses are because I've downloaded the Swansea City and I'm guessing it's just it's just, you know, come to terms of having to load that up. Which is fair enough. Again, it can be a pain in the butt. Well, I wish I could give you more of a tour of Swansea, but I don't actually know the city that at all, to be honest, so uh, I can't. <laughs> do apologise. I'm from Plymouth. Maybe I could do one of Plymouth. Plymouth's very similar to this, all very coastal and stuff. Don't think there is any downloadable um, cities, though, as for Plymouth. There's no, like, downloadable scenery for it. Um, that looks like I should probably land on it, doesn't it? Yeah, I probably should. Let's just go full flaps, fuck it. I know you shouldn't, but hey ho, let's just see what happens. Bit of airspeed. Here we go, so let's just get us and ourselves up. Leave it there, 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 let it come down, let it come down. I am literally like the bounciest lander in the history of aircraft simming. My aircraft just want to bounce all the bloody time. It's frustrating, it is. Really frustrating. These planes just want to fly. Look at that. Just wants to be in the air. Just wants to be up, up in the air. Yeah! Damn straight. And there's our magenta line, all right. Let's get back on it. All right. Let's, uh, let's give ourselves some decent altitude. Vertical airspeed's coming right down there, look. Okay. 
We're drifting over a bit to the left there. It's a bit of a shame because what you can't do in the sim is you can't use the rudder to control your balance ball. Normally on on um, well the micro lights that I fly, like C42, there's a uh, there's like a, a balance ball here. If it's too far over this way or too far over that way, then you it means obviously you're getting chucked around in the turbulence, and you use your rudders to effectively and a bit of your stick to maintain your balance. Um, but obviously in the sim, you can't really use your rudders like that. You can use them to turn in. So if I was to turn to the left now, look, this is me banking to the left just with my stick and then pulling back. Okay. And then this is me pulling to the right with just my stick and then pulling back. And now this is me turning to the left with my stick and using my rudder. See, the turn is much sharper. Cool, isn't it? Good to pull some serious G's doing that, man. And this is what it's like if you turn and you do the, um, the rudder the other way. So if you were to go this way and then this way, you go up like that. And if you do this way as well, you go like that. So you don't get any adverse yaw. Obviously you control it with subtler, much, much more subtler adjustments than that, but that effectively is what you do. So let's go, what else should we be on? We're on one and a half. So let's go to 1,000 feet. Uh, let's turn our autopilot on. Get the nav on. Take us back to the magenta line here. Vertical airspeed on as well. And we want to go down 500 feet per minute. And we're looking at an altitude of 1,000 feet. Actually, let's just go to 1,500. Let's check this is all correct. Yep. Calm our RPM down. We need to get it to about 4,000 RPM. That's where our trim's set. Don't overstress our aircraft. As you can see, we're going about 120 knots at the moment, which is fast. Or miles per hour, even, bloody hell. There we go. Let's zoom out of this. Okay, so let's change our altitude. Let's go 600 feet. Why is it not less to it? Come on. Okay, 800 feet. Okay, so it's holding our altitude at uh, one and a half, which is cool. I suppose I wanted to go down to 800, really. Um, vertical speed. So 
That's not that's it. There we go. It's because my mouse was in another screen. So go down 500 feet per minute. Uh, 1,000 feet per minute. Down to 800 feet. We'll get to see a bit more detail then, hopefully, of the Welsh countryside and the Welsh, the beautiful Welsh coastline. Okay, guys, I'm just going to come out here like this. I think I'm just going to leave you guys to it, actually. Let me just uh, pop this up. Yeah, I think I'll leave you guys to it. Enjoy the flight, everyone. Hope you have a good good time and just chill out, relax, and just let that Rotax engine hurt you into some sweet, sweet chillaxitabs. Catch up with you guys in a bit. Enjoy the flight. Bye-bye. Okay, you guys, so I've realized we're just, <laughs> just flying aimlessly at the sea here, which is not really fun for anybody, really, is it? So let's, um, let's go check out these cliffs because, you know, why the hell not? So we'll just turn the autopilot off and let's go check them out. Full throttle, oh yeah. I must admit, the bush flying element of the new sim that's coming out in November is going to be pretty much all I'm going to do. I'm well looking forward to it. I'm going to get a real good buzz flying around 
and the old Fox 2 with that game, I'll tell you that for nothing else, it's going to be so sick. I, um, I've got a real fondness for it, I think. Something that I really want to keep doing. My micro light lessons are going well. I'm two hours in. Um, my third lesson this week, though, I may have to cancel it, which is a bit of a shame. Because it's, uh, it's not expensive at all, really. It's pretty reasonable. It's just, um, it's just I have other things I have to prioritise in my life, namely my family. So I have to look, you know, put them first. I'd rather just be a selfish git if I don't. And I've got to, you know, I've got to do it. What's this down here? This is cool. Wow, sweet. Look at this. That's awesome. It's like a little town in here. Let's go check out this town. Wow. I just hear the telephones calling the CAA. Um, yeah, this the Civilization Authority. Hi, um, we've got a, a microlight aircraft, two-seater aircraft. It's been flying over our houses. Oh, yes, hello there. Uh, how roughly how far above your house? A thousand feet? No, no um, uh, hundred feet. Is it really was it really low? About hundred feet? No. So how how low were they? At half a foot. Woo, woo, woo! Here comes the police. Oh my god, I'm gonna get arrested. Shit, shit. Oh well, hey ho. It'd be cool if we can go to jail for us. So what are you in for, man? I flew too low, Cougar. I flew too low. You flew too low? Yeah, like that. <laughs> oh my god, you Maverick. What'd you call me? I called you Maverick. Say it again. Maverick! Ah! Well, that was definitely too low, Cougar. Too low. Thank heavens for the magic button. The magic button that makes you go back up into the sky. Boo. Watch out for them trees. Wow, fuckity fuck him again. Yeah. So secure ways, the only way to flare. Basically being sick every every opportunity. And over this Victorian workhouse. Seems to be a lot of them in the Sims, isn't there? I'm not entirely sure why. There does seem to be quite a few Victorian where Victorian workhouses. Oh Christ. Well, I've just managed to murder an entire family um, while they're having their they're crunching at cornflakes. Oh well. Guess these things happen, huh? Where are we? Over oh, inside another house. Uh hmm. If I do the magic button, boom, 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 boom. Is our engine on? There we go. So we're pretty high up here. How are we? 3,000 feet. Jesus. Must be more than 3,000 feet, surely. That's 30,000 feet. Okay, cool. Let's go check out this island over here. Let's just turn off our accelerator. Hopefully, we'll slow down a little bit. Come on. Not that much of a bank angle. Well, maybe we have. <laughs> there you go. Slow us down.
Okay, so I'm going to try and land from this point here right across here now. That's what I'm going to try and do. Okay? Now, some of you may think I'm crazy. And you're right, I am crazy. But, I've got to do what i got to do, man. So, so it's okay, anyways. i got to try and be cool. Here we go. Just radio in. Uh, hi, uh, this is uh, Fox 2 Experimental coming in for uh, emergency landing on some island in Wales, off the coast of Wales. Uh, roger that. Uh, Experimental Fox 2, you're clear to land in, in this crazy place. You're a crazy guy, don't be stupid. Maybe you well, maybe you're a bit stupid. Don't be stupid, okay? Thank you very much, I love you, bye. Oh my god, ATC just told me they love me. That's, that's the first. Here we go. See, now I'm tempted to bring her down here, because that makes sense. But no, I'm committed to my original plan. Get her at 100 knots. 80. Forty, there's some trees there. Got plenty of space for a good landing here. Gonna miss that tree. Woo! Missed it. Here we go. Thank you all fine, bitches. That was a landing. All right. <laughs> yeah, cool. Well, maybe I'll just take off again because uh, I like the idea of just cruising off the edge of this cliff. Here we go. Here we go. Spank ourselves around like this, slow ourselves down like this, come into land like this, come into land like this, 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 ah, yeah. Slow that birdie down. There we go. Cool, huh? Right, let's turn this turn this bad boy off. Okay, sweet. Well, thank you, you guys, for joining us for another little quick little bush flight around the southwest uh, of Wales coastline. Um, nothing really to report other than yeah, nice big sandy beaches, lovely little cliff edges, and yeah, good to be back. Anyway, guys, I hope to see you in the next one. Ta ta for now.